Hi, welcome to a beautiful sunny day in Chesterfield again. And I was just looking around the projects I've done in the last couple of weeks, and there's one that I needed to just finish off, and that was the, using the plastic doll lab that was replaced by the IBC and moving it into the indoor fry to give me a bit more room or give the fry a bit more room and help grow on in that one. Wasn't too uh, chuffed with the old plastic door love. Fantastic, just lightweight, can't fault it one bit. But I just want to use a plastic door love, but I needed to put a bottom drain on it and use the pump externally when it dry uh, rather than in the water to give a bit more space inside and it reduces the pipes, reduces the uh, space inside the, the, the grow on tank. So stay with us, see how I get on. Let me give us a quick clean down. I've got my little helper. Say hi. And get rid of all the algae off the side, get it clean so it's sort of decent, and then cut a hole in the middle. We've got a towel to dry it off. We've got some of this 110 mm we've got the inner ring, we've got a marker pen. So let's see what we're going to do with this. is insulated with this uh, polystyrene foam whatever it is and although it's a food grade dolav I had some uh, gold label one shot left over and I've put a, a coat in iced a load around the inside of the hole to seal it with that just in case so it's fairly thick and uh, I would imagine it's going to still be waterproof and it's still food uh, grade, but we'll soon find out. to do is fit the bottom drain what we're going to do is fit this bottom drain to the bottom of there because it's a two-man job and working in the dough lab I've got my beautiful assistant Becky who's gonna work a screwdriver 
slight things are going against her. She has a touch like a wounded rhino with three legs, but we'll see how we get on. We're using some PU18 to seal the top of that. Let's see how we get on. Right down there is the bottom drain comes out of there, goes to the pump that's dry mounted, put the short flexible into the filter, out the filter, into the shower. That's running at 14 watts at the moment, which is about 30%. The bottom drain is aerated, that's filling up at about 2 litres a minute. Heat in the corner, air stone in the corner, extra air stone in the corner, just to agitate the heat. And then I need to get through the water that came out of here, back in, and we'll have a bit of fish. I just waxed it up 200% on the pump, just to circulate a few uh, bits and bobs in the bottom. And I'm going to pull the net in at the back of the filter to uh, the waterfall to allow fresh water in. There's the filter that's been affected by the water that's going in. I've added a bit of uh, pom bom. So a few bits in there, I'm going to put a few bits. Now the bottom drain that I think will get mushed up by the pump and get into the filter quick and easy. 
Uh, we're going to have a look at the fish. And we'll have a look at the fish. I think as I counted them out, there was 127. And there are a couple very, very thin ones. And there's a couple of very, very chunky ones. So they're not very pale at the moment. Orange, there's a couple of markings at the back of the head. I don't know what they're going to come out with. I'm not going to kid anybody that they're going to be something special or anything like that. But it's not about that, it's about the experience. And these are my koi. So I've got these that was born, well, they were spawned on the 26th of May, hatched around the 28th, 29th. So after seeing Plan A fail miserably, I decided to open up the filter. So I've taken this off, that's the insides, and in between the sponges, and in the bottom of there, there was that many fish. <laughs> Admittedly, there's a couple of heads and tails in there. There's a lot more still alive. So what we've got is a same steel mesh grill with six mil holes in it, centre stem and an o-ring around it just to keep it down, sit on top of there and allow that to go. back where they started and uh, I've now put the stainless steel mesh on top of the bottom drain so the white net was plan A the black net was plan B the dome mesh that I don't think I video was plan C so we're on plan D and I'm really happy and comfortable with that one I managed to salvage 34 live fry in the pressure filter which was really Intriguing to be honest to say they've gone through the pump first and a couple of cleaning cycles on the filter as well. But uh, there's one floating about in the pond that was hard, uh, in the tank that was half and half. I think he might not make the night, but we'll give him a chance. And the rest have been uh, uh, disposed of safely. So, what we've got in total is You can see that it's running at 15 watts, which is about uh, 3,000 litres per minute. That's the pump on there, the filter and the UV down here, which I think is a Pond Expert Spring Clean Auto 6000. We go through a three tier shower. There's pumice Alpha Grog in the top one, BHM. Pumice in the second one and BHM pumice and alpha grog in the bottom one. So we've got an air stone in the corner with the heater, got an air ring and an aerated drain there. So we've got an extra air stone in there just for a bit while they are uh, uh, flashing around swimming. Well, they're all sat in the corner at the moment. I'll let them settle for a bit and I will. I will do an update and a film of them later. One last thing to do on this, just to finish it off. Now it's up and running. That's to apply
Sorry it's been a long video but I needed to cover all the bits and bobs that were involved from start to finish and I didn't want to miss any things out because it only brings questions on and makes people uh, doubt the validity of the uh, video. But either way, the fish are back, the fry are back should I say, and they, they look quite happy, they're feeding, swimming around, nice and uh, comfortable again. I think I lost about f probably f six or seven in total after the uh, cock up of the bottom drain and uh, maybe I should have left it with the net to start with but it was just restricting the ability to swim around and enjoy themselves so I wanted to try and utilize the full size of the tub but either way thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it hit the like button if you have any questions please put them below and I'll reply to them as soon as possible like I say subscribe hit the like button enjoy the videos thanks a lot for watching happy ponding